When you understand who you are and your, your core brilliance, you understand how to do you. Just do what you do best and be comfortable in your own skin and you release the need to copy everyone else, okay? Now, some people may say, you know, well, I'll make a mistake. Well, here's the deal. Uh, just because you make a mistake, it does not mean you are a mistake. Failure is not final, failure is only feedback. One of the things that they're saying that the shift age will be marked by, in addition to transformation, is great risk. People who will take great risk and say, how do I get out on the edge of adventure? And what's so interesting about this weddings industry, which is a $72 billion industry, I believe that most, if not all of the people that will shape this industry within the next decade is sitting in this room. Will it be you? So, oh brilliant one, if you are going to shift, everybody say shift. Yeah. All right, y'all said shift. Listen, you hang around and engage for a while. This is a lively group, okay? Turn to your neighbor and say shift, baby, shift. Shift, baby, shift. All right, there we go, that's better. <laughs> According to futurists, the information age ended in 2006 and we moved into what many are calling the shift age or the age of transformation. The number one thing CEOs are saying that will keep them competitive and relevant in the shift age, in the new normal, is creativity and innovation. How many of y'all know exactly what you love doing? I mean, love doing. And when you do those things, you're in the zone of brilliance. You absolutely are alive. You can do them in a nanosecond. It comes very easy to you. Brilliance is released in an environment where you are celebrated rather than tolerated. Shift begins to happen and move in my direction in a good way because it's not about what I can get from you, it's about what I can give to you. Here's what we're gonna do because a part of shifting is putting truth on the table and really being raw honest about where you are so that you can focus on your green lights, those things you do really, really well, and better manage those red lights. Have you ever experienced that pile on your desk that moves from left to right and from right to left? Never diminishing. <laughs> so one of the things I want you to think about is how do you begin to discover your rhythm? When are you most in the zone? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Is it late at night? Get into your rhythm because as soon as you identify your rhythm, it'll help with that procrastination. One of the stories that I share here and, and why we wrote this question is a man was having a reoccurring dream of a ferocious lion chasing him. And whenever he would have that dream, he would take off running. And one day he went to see a counselor and the counselor said, the next time you have the dream, I want you to stop, face the lion, look the lion in the eye and ask the lion, who are you and why are you chasing me? So sure enough, a couple of days, or actually a couple of weeks goes by and this guy has this reoccurring dream of this ferocious lion chasing him and he takes off running. Courage and confidence are one and the same. And it dawns on him what the counselor says, so he turns around, he faces the lion, he looks the lion in the eye, Sharon, and he says to the lion, who are you, why are you chasing me? And the lion says, I am your strength and courage, why are you running from me? Sometimes the things that you are running from, when it is time to shift, is the thing you need to run to for who you will become in the process. So shifting is understanding when I do the hard work and when I do the thing I don't want to do, when I push myself, it's about me opening up another dimension of re recognizing everything I need to succeed is inside of me. It really is. But the only way it gets out is you have to go through change. One of the most important words that should be in your lexicon this decade is the word disruption. Change. Shift happens when the shifted decide to become the shifter. When you decide to become the shifter, you will do a soul audit, you will put truth on the table, and you will say, doggone it, how do I become a game changer? 97% of business income is controlled by 3% of the business owners. Those who are in the 3% controlling the 97% are the game changers. So you have to think about it. What is it that you're going to do, oh, brilliant one, in this new normal, in this shift age that will be marked by transformation? Everybody say transformation, great risk, enormous opportunity. What are you going to do to shift? I'm telling each and every one of you, this is your moment. This is your time to take it to a whole 
another level. Well, here's the deal. You're now each other's accountability partner, okay? So beyond engage, I want you to challenge each other on Simon talked about shifting. What are you doing with your red light, green lights? What are you doing with those 20 questions that we ask each other? Because I'm gonna be out of your life in a few moments. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again, but I want this to stick, okay? So on behalf of my mom and dad, who've been married for 44 years, still living in Buffalo, New York, I wanna let all you engaged participants know Simon T loves you, I believe in you, and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Thank you very much. All right, love y'all, mean it. How's everybody feeling? Brilliant.